God's story, Nehemiah. So part of God's story is about a guy named Nehemiah, and it goes like this. God's family was called the Israelites because they lived in, you guessed it, Israel. But some of them lived far away from Israel. And one of those guys was Nehemiah. He lived in a place called Persia and worked for their king Xerxes. One day, Nehemiah's brother told him Jerusalem, Israel's capital and most special city, was suffering. Many people there weren't following God anymore because the Israelites were being attacked by their enemies. And the wall that protected the city had crumbled. Nehemiah cried, God, you are wonderful, but your family's home is in trouble. Please help us. So God told Nehemiah to build a wall around Jerusalem. Later, when Nehemiah served the king's wine, Xerxes noticed Nehemiah looked sad. So the king asked Nehemiah what was wrong. Nehemiah told him about Jerusalem and asked if he could go back to rebuild the wall. King Xerxes could have killed Nehemiah for asking to leave. But Xerxes said, go. God had heard Nehemiah's prayer and answered it, and he even used King Xerxes to help. So Nehemiah went to work rebuilding the wall. But little did he know, he was going to need to ask for a lot more help from God. See, God and his family have always had enemies, and those enemies wanted to stop Nehemiah and the people who were helping him. First, Nehemiah's enemies made fun of him and the wall builders, but Nehemiah prayed again and went back to work. Now, God does hear and answer every prayer, but sometimes not in the way we expect or even the way we want. At first, it seemed like God wasn't answering this one at all. <laughs> Nehemiah's enemies saw that nothing would keep him from building, so they planned an attack. But Nehemiah trusted that God heard his prayer, even if it didn't feel like it. And God did. He caused some people to overhear the enemy's plans and warn Nehemiah. Even though Nehemiah's enemies still wanted to hurt him, Nehemiah planned a defense and told the others, don't be afraid of your enemies. Remember the Lord. He is great and powerful. So they kept on working and building. The closer the wall got to being finished, the more Nehemiah's enemies realized they couldn't stop him by making fun of him or by attacking him. So they sent messengers to get Nehemiah to leave the wall and meet them. He wouldn't. They hoped Nehemiah's hands would get weak, but Nehemiah asked God to make his hands stronger. They even paid a priest to ask Nehemiah to leave the wall and come to the temple. But he trusted God more than anyone else, even the priest. Nehemiah refused to stop doing the job God had given him. Kids, are you willing to keep doing something you know God wants, even when it's hard? Well, finally, the wall was done. God's family felt safe again, and nothing had been able to stop God's plans. The Israelites celebrated and praised God. They realized how much their sins made God sad, so they told God they were sorry and thanked him for helping them. Then the Israelites made a brand new promise to follow him and Jerusalem was once again a safe place where people honored God. There's another story where God fixes something that's broken. One day, God would send a very special rescuer who would save more than just a wall. He would save the whole world. This rescuer was Jesus. He made it possible for not just Israelites, but everyone in the whole world to confess their sins to God, thank him for his rescue, and follow him. And just like the old wall was made new back then, our old lives can be made new right now because Jesus has rescued us. And that's the story of Nehemiah. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. The Israelites needed help. Their city wall had crumbled. Nehemiah helped rebuild the wall. He asked God to protect him. God's enemies tried to stop him. Nehemiah prayed and listened to God. God helped him finish the wall. Later on, God sent Jesus to repair the world so we can be made new too. And that's a part of God's story.